My name is Mark McCormick. I'm a conservation officer for the RSPB. We're down in this farm here today and I want to talk to you a little bit about the environmental farming scheme and one of the options within that, the rough grass margin. So this is a rough grass margin and farmers or landowners within the environmental farming scheme can create this habitat and receive payments for this habitat on their land. So what is the rough grass margin? It's made up of Irish native grasses, so you get tussock uh, forming grasses like your coxfoot, your timothy, your Yorkshire fog. You have then the rest of the mix, the other 85% would be made up of fine grass species like your, your fescues, your meadow grasses, sweet vernal grass, that sort of thing, creating a really diverse mix of grass species along the margin of your field. So why is it good to have this sort of habitat on your land? Well, before I even get into the benefits of the wildlife, it's really, really, really good for um, arable farmers. So you see we've got our, our cereal field here. The rough grass margin next to that is a fantastic thing because this is creating habitat for overwintering invertebrates, things like your sawfly, ladybirds, spiders, all those sort of insects. And whenever then it comes to the spring and summer when your crop's coming up, those species of insect come out and actually feed on aphids, they feed on the green fly, and those sort of things are attacking your crop. So this is like a free and natural pest control for your arable crop, a really useful thing to have on the farm. But then in terms of the benefits to wildlife, it's just absolutely absolutely immense. So rough grass margins provide really good food and nesting habitat for a number of farmland birds and mammals. So actually next to a good thick hedgerow is a perfect place for the rough grass margin simply because you take the example of the yellowhammer, um, a farmland bird that's red listed it actually nests on or close to the ground in a hedgerow. So if you have a good thick hedgerow next to a rough grass margin, the rough grass margin actually helps increase the thickness and density of the base of the hedge. And that provides really, really good cover for the yellowhammer's nest. It's given a cover and protection from the elements, but also as well hiding it from predators. Now, as well, I'd mentioned the increase in the amount of insects that the rough grass margin provides. Those insects in turn actually provide food for your birds as well. So birds would eat seed in the winter, but quite a, quite a lot of them switch to insects in the spring and summer because the insects are actually the chick food for their young. So the rough grass margins increase in the amount of insects, that increases the amount of food available for the birds and for their young in the spring and the summer. So it's a fantastic habitat to have, especially in combination with the good thick hedgerow which, um, where the birds will be nesting. It's also really good terrestrial habitat for a number of amphibians and reptiles. It's creating food, shelter, but most importantly, migration for reptiles and amphibians because a lot of wildlife will travel via trees, they'll travel via the hedgerows, but for reptiles and amphibians, this is a really, really important migratory route right across the countryside. So think of this as like nature's highway through your farm for a number of species like that. But it doesn't end there, it's also a fantastic thing for a number of birds of prey. So take the barn owl for example, it's a really endangered species here in Northern Ireland. It's now thought that there's less than 30 breeding pairs left here. So it's very endangered and it's important that we create as much habitat as possible for this iconic farmland bird species and the rough grass margin is a fantastic way to do that. Why? Because within the rough grass you get small mammals building up. You have the shrews, you have the mice, that's the stable diet of the barn owl. So by implementing the rough grass margin, you're creating a fantastic hunting ground for them. And we're a better place to actually put up a barn owl box as well. So you're creating the nesting habitat, the rough grass margins then creating the food habitat, absolutely fantastic for the barn owl, but also great for other birds of prey, such as the kestrel as well. So. There you have it, it's fantastic for a number of insects that are going to help protect your crop from aphids. Those there insects in turn are creating chick food for a number of farmland bird species just like the yellowhammer. The small mammals are coming in, that's creating food for the barn owl, the kestrel. It's a good corridor for all sorts of amphibians and, and, uh, and reptiles. It's a fantastic resource and a fantastic way you can give back to nature on your farm. 
So if you're interested in the environmental farming scheme, you think the rough grass margin might work well on your farm, RSPB can give you that tailored advice. We can come down onto the farm, do a site visit, figure out where's best to place the rough grass margin on your farm, give you a bit more information about um, the different species it can help. So if you're interested in helping the barn owl, you want to do more to help the yellowhammer, this is a great way to go. So please get in touch with us. We'd love to hear from you.